I'm a small business owner, I'm a mortgage broker, and I help people achieve the dream of home ownership. I've been fortunate to get a lot of people placed in homes, have written through many different challenges as a small business owner. In 2008, when the mortgage market crashed, my business crashed also, and I found myself fighting to save my home. I eventually lost my home to foreclosure while at the same time helping others save their home. And it was during that period when I realized that there were so many people who were struggling and going through a crisis at the time, which was the mortgage meltdown. I got out to help in 2012 with Barack Obama and I started knocking doors and realized that I love engaging with my community. I started getting people approaching me, asking me, did I want to run for office? I never saw myself as a politician, so it took me a lot of thinking. And then I was asked, well, if you were to run for office, what would you run for? I know that education as an immigrant is very, very important for me and many families like myself. And so I thought I would like to make a difference in education. So I ran for the Board of Regents in 2013. Although I was not successful in that run, I made a lot of connections and it gave me a really good insight into our community and all the needs that we have. Today, we stand in another crisis, the COVID-19 coronavirus crisis. So many people are unemployed, over 500,000 people are out of work. We, as Colorado, have huge budget shutfalls that we need to look at. As a trained accountant, I bring an eye for transparency. I bring an eye to see where we can cut ineffectiveness and cut waste. Budget right now is being looked at in public schools and higher education and human services. And those are things that we really need. Although we all need to go through the pain of cutting that budget, it's also important to see where we can find waste and places where we can save money. For example, nonviolent criminals uh, could be maybe released and put into a job training pr process where they can now become taxpayers and we can save that money. It costs about $88,000 per year to house an inmate. So people like that who are nonviolent could be released. We also need to look for places where there's waste and then try to find that and close the budget gaps. But at the same time, I know that there are still many people whose voices are not heard down in the state capitol. Whether you're an essential worker or maybe you work in healthcare, maybe you're the CFO or a small immigrant business, I understand your pain and what you're going through. And I want us to come together this time and help to put someone in office who has proven themselves as a hard worker, as a community advocate, and someone who will always be there. So this time I ask you to come together, vote for Nikita Ricks, for state representative in HD40, make phone calls, donate, www.ricksforco.com. And together, once we come together, we can make a difference. So Christina, um, I'm here to, how long have you been in the business? Uh, I've been around four years. Um, I usually work here with the previous owners. So Christina, I'm so glad I stopped by to hear your story today. As you know, I'm running for state representative and I'm here to fight for small businesses like yours. Once elected, I will be sure to fight for all small businesses in HD40. This does not happen again. Hi, we're here at Just Grills, which is a nice little diner located off of Islip and Buckley right here in the district. It's so great to be back here in the Chevrolet market. Uh, this is a great store. Yeah, I really thank you for your support too. I'm here at Mojo Coffee. Where? Okay. So one of my favorite things to do is to have an organic cup of Ethiopian coffee. Mmm, delicious. <laughs>